what is your thought on flat earth? I, I think uh, the northern um, uh, rural albatross had it figured out before humans were even around. Which is what? What did he figure they, out? Um, that uh, you fly east, you keep flying east, and you get back home. You leave home flying east. And when uh, they have their nests, um, the southern part of uh, New Zealand and also off the coast of the Chatham Islands, and that little island, and when the babies uh, fledge, they fly east, and they hang out off the coast of, of Chile for about five years till they grow up. Then they fly east again and keep going until they get back home, and they know exactly where their nest was that they came from. So what does that mean? Um, they don't turn around and go back. So it's not flat. Right. Okay, that's good. So you don't believe yeah, that it's flat. Right. They could do laps around okay, there. Okay, that's great. Yeah, we like that. We like the fact that we do laps. There, there was one last year, that baby that didn't stop very long in, in South America. After a month, he kept going. And he made it as far as Tasmania, almost to New Zealand, when his, his uh, thing fell off. They have a GPS uh, gizmo that's, that, with a solar panel on it. Yeah. And they glue it to the feathers, but when they molt, it comes off. Um, they have a longer-term one that they put around their ankles, but but uh, this one was cool, like, go, boy, go. <laughs> you you literally track where he's at. Yeah, he almost made a complete lap around the, the planet. Wow. They can go across the, the Pacific in about one or two weeks. What a great time. They frequent flyer like miles. Being a bird and just kind of traveling and relaxing. And they, they don't flap their wings. You know, face. they sleep. Yeah. When, when they leave um, their nest, they don't touch solid ground for another five years. They may land on the water, but they um, they don't land on solid ground. So they sleep while flying. Yeah, and like they, they they don't flap. They they soar. Wow, most people can't fly, and have a hard time sleeping. These guys sleep while they're flying. Mm -hmm. That's some major respect for them to be able to do something like that. Nowadays, more than ever, the brand you wear reflects and represents who you are. So for us, if you wear a future looks bright hat or a value taming gear, you're telling the world. I'm optimistic. I'm excited about what's going to be happening, but you're a free thinker. You question things. You like debate. And by the way, last year, 120,000 people got a piece of Future Looks Bright gear with Valuetainment. We have so many new things. The cufflinks are here. New Future Looks Bright. This is my favorite, the green one. Just yesterday, somebody placed an order for 100 of these. If you watch the PBD podcast, you got a bunch to choose from. White ones, black ones. If you if you if you smoke cigars and you come to our cigar lounge, we have this high quality lighter cutter and a holder for the cigars. We got sweaters with the Vitamin logo on it. We got mugs. We got a bunch of different things. But if you believe the future looks bright, if you follow our content and what we represent with Vitamin with, with PVD podcast. Go to vtmerch.com. And by the way, if you order right now, there's going to be a special VT gift insight just for you. So again, go to vtmerch.com, place your order, tell the world that you believe the future looks bright. If you enjoy this video, you want to watch more videos like this, click here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click here.